I'm live. Hello, everyone. So, I want to share something today that I learned. Let me make sure this angle is cute. Okay, it's good. I think I'm going to actually upload this to YouTube as well. So, if you miss this, it'll be on YouTube. But I want to share something that I learned. So, I saw this video on YouTube from one of my favorite life coaches, and it was called Passive Patty Isn't Prospering. And I have watched this video three times and taking notes because. I'm trying to learn. Um, and basically, she talks about how um, most people, the majority of people, go through life and they're passive. They never actually go for their dreams. They never actually take the action to go for the life that they desire, pursue their dreams, pursue their goals. They just are passive and take life for what it is like whatever comes their way they just accept it and it clicked for me because i was thinking yeah that's most people and that's sad because you really can live the life that you dream of that you desire your the life that that's your goal you can live that life but we have to get out of this reactionary mindset we have to stop reacting to everything that comes our way reacting to our circumstances we have to switch from a reactive mindset to a proactive mindset and with when you're proactive you're taking action on your dreams every day and the thing is when you're reactionary you're reacting to what comes your way like in life there's always going to be ups and downs there's always going to be something thrown your way there's always going to be something not going right you're always going to be struggling in a certain area of life one way or another nobody ever has every aspect of life completely perfect so when you are being proactive though instead of reactive you've made that decision to say okay i'm gonna get up and take this little bit of action every day towards my dreams towards my goals no matter what is thrown my way because nothing can distract me nothing can throw me off track because you're so focused on your vision, you have tunnel vision and you're like you're just focused on what it is that you're reaching towards, what your dream life looks like. And it really clicked for me when she said that most people literally just live their life w without doing that, without trying. They just live, work and then pass like and they never really reach that full, abundant, and joyous, prosperous life that we're really meant to have as humans. We're, we're really meant to have that kind of experience. And so watching that video really unlocked something in my mind when you really think about the fact that most people just passively go through life. They just passively react to whatever happens to them. But this is something I talked about before. We have to stop being so reactive. When you react to stuff, you're always going to just you let life circumstances have control over you and control over your mind, but you have to be proactive and not let that happen and gain control of your mind and start working towards your dreams and your goals. And this starts with having some type of vision. For me, I've really been working on the vision for my life and for my ventures and the vision isn't clear right now. It's not exactly clear. I can't exactly see it, but I know the premature steps that I have to take right now. And it actually does feel good when every day I can say, okay, I know I got to take a certain step. I got to take a step today. Like I got to work out today. Like I got to do a live video today. I got to make a YouTube video today. I have to do something today. I, just one little step is all it takes. One step. In the video, she talked about faith as well. She talked about faith being an action. I mean, faith being action. Faith being a verb. Faith is a verb. Faith requires action. So when I was, you know, uh, you know, uh, trying to understand the video, I'm thinking faith. Okay, faith is not a noun. <laughs> it's not a thing. It's a verb. It requires action. A lot of times, you just got to take one step. You just take one step and... God will take 20. You just got to take one step. Just just one step. And, and, it, and it starts with your mindset as well, though. Because I, I see a lot of times people wondering, you know, how do you get out of your own way? Well, how you get out of your own way is by changing your mindset. You, changing your mindset. 
I'm sorry, somebody was just walking by with their dog. Switching your mindset from scarcity, from that rat race in a maze mindset, <laughs> switching your mindset from scarcity to abundance and saying, look, the life that I want to achieve, the life that I want to live, I can live it. What? Who is going to stop me? It's you. You're the only person that's going to stop yourself. You. And so I just want to wrap this video up quickly. The uh, I'll just end with making this point. When you, everybody has a different journey. Everybody's on a different, in a different place in their journey. But when you do have your goals in mind, when you realize the steps that you need to take, it, it's not going to be easy. It may be hard. There may be doubt, insecurities, fear, fear of what others might think, fear of what others might say, blah, blah, blah. What I've learned is people are going to talk about you and have an opinion, have their thoughts, whether you do or you don't. It don't matter what you're doing. Somebody's going to have something to say. So you might as well just go ahead and reach for what you're trying to reach for and not even worry about what anybody else thinks because at the end of the day, you're the one that has to live with your life decisions. You got to live with life decisions. Not your family, not your friends. It's on you. It all falls on you. And we have to stop trying to make everybody else in our life happy, make them feel comfortable. No, the way I see it is if you find out about, you know, my dreams, my goals, the life I'm living, you have something to say about it, you don't agree, then to me, I kind of look at it as, well, that just kind of says more about you than me. I, I did what you know what I wanted to do. Maybe, maybe you haven't found the strength yet to step out on faith and, and reach towards your goals and your dreams and do something that may seem wild to you. Maybe it's just uncomfortable to you, but for me, it's not. So you have to be comfortable with with what it is that you want to achieve in life. And so the point of this video is take action, guys. Stop doubting. Take action. You know, don't don't overthink it either don't do analysis paralysis i had analysis paralysis today i have analysis paralysis probably every day um but it doesn't matter because as long as that action is as long as we take action that's all that matters so take action and you will you'll see results you'll see results because i don't know how how else people are you know expecting for things in life to change without something changing and that is action so thanks for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed.